Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, as you can see, it's all about artichokes and I'll dive into my recipe here in a minute, but let me share a little artichoke knowledge for a sec. The artichokes that you see here have been in the ground for 250 plus days now and are starting to finally give me my first ever artichoke harvest. The plant provides three different sizes of chokes, believe it or not, the main stalk gives the biggest choke. Uh, that the plant has to offer for the season, the secondary artichokes that are medium in size, yield about six to 10, and finally the baby artichokes that you can really only find at your local farmer's market yield about 20 to 30. So you can get quite the artichoke feast from just one plant. Now, if you live in a relatively Mediterranean climate, you can grow artichokes in the same plant for five years or more and propagation is very, very easy to continue that process. I had started a few more artichoke plugs this year that are doing really well, but as a gardener who loves growing from seed, these plants are super resilient even if they get battered by harsh weather or mistreatment. Okay, so now for the recipe part. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I've been cooking artichokes since I was a kid and another variation that I picked up in commercial French kitchens. Steamed artichokes with lemon butter and whole grain mustard and artichokes berry ghoul. All right, let's dive into the recipes. Okay, so first up, you need to get a pot of boiling water going on your stove, at least one that can fit the amount of artichokes you're going to cook. Make sure to season it with a generous amount of salt. Um, should taste similar to sea water, uh, just for a little reference. Cut off any stretch of hardened stem that you could see on the artichoke. Add the artichokes to the boiling water, cover and cook for approximately 20 to 30 minutes, depending on the size and freshness of your artichokes. These homegrown took about 15 minutes, but that is not common with store-bought artichokes. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do with these beautiful flower buds is a technique called turning. The idea is that you whittle down all the dark green, hardened outermost parts of the artichoke down to the tender yellow leaves, heart, and stem. Typically, I would like to do this with a very large artichoke, but I got a little impatient with my desire to cook and eat all the artichokes that were ready to pick on my plant. If you ask me, 250 days is a long time to harvest and I was ready. Anyways, once you peel most of the dark green leaves off and the tough part of the stem, put the now turned artichoke into a bowl of water that is acidulated. Vinegar works, but lemon juice really is the right way to go with it. Uh, if you don't do this, the artichokes will turn brown almost within 30 seconds to a minute, so just be sure to have it ready. The third round of artichokes is similar to the previous turned artichokes, but will take advantage of the shape and tenderness of the even smaller baby artichoke, as the, the tertiary version of the artichoke that was on the plant. These tend to be elegantly presented alongside braised lamb leg, roasted chicken, or even a beautiful filet of buttery Dover sole. But you wanna make sure you keep most of the inner leaves intact since they have a stunning appearance and are absolutely tender enough to eat whole. All right, now that we've prepped the artichokes, this is a great time to check the ones in the pot. For me, the most simple way to test for a cooked artichoke is leaf resistance. If it lifts the artichoke up, it's not ready. Make sure to do this about 10 to 15 minutes into cooking and every five minutes or so after to really get that perfectly cooked artichoke. But right now, I'm going to start on my artichokes berry ghoul recipe by adding olive oil to a small saucepan that's on medium heat then adding in the chopped carrots, onion, and garlic to it. Simmer the mixture for a minute or so, then you're gonna add in artichokes, continue cooking for another minute. Uh, then after that, you're gonna add in some freshly picked thyme, white wine, white wine vinegar, salt and black pepper, and some sliced lemons and lemon juice to finish. Cook this for about 10 minutes or until the artichokes are just fork tender and no more. This is probably a great time to do one more check on the artichokes and what do you know, the leaves are just falling off the stem. Uh, so just take this off the heat and start making your butter dipping sauce once this happens. In a small pot on medium heat, add in the butter, chopped garlic, rosemary, whole grain mustard, salt and pepper, and finally a good squeeze of lemon juice and some sliced lemon zest if you wanna get fancy. And this is ready to plate.
There's definitely a multitude of ways to plate artichokes, but one way I really like is to split them lengthwise, and if you want to add yet another layer of flavor, this is the perfect time to throw them on a really hot grill. Uh, but nonetheless, place these onto a plate and cover them with the savory garlic butter mustard sauce. Um, right over the top and the artichokes berry ghoul are perfect for munching just the way they are on a plate or in a bowl straight up like that. Hey what's up guys hopefully you enjoyed that uh, quick run through on a few different ways to cook artichokes and just approach artichoke cookery a little bit differently than normal. Uh, I know this one is uh, more traditional as to how most people cook artichokes just by boiling them. Uh, but a lot of times either they get underboiled or overboiled and there is kind of that sweet spot knowing when you can pull the leaf right off and it's not too tough. You shouldn't be able to lift the artichoke with one of the leaves. It just should just kind of pull right off. Some people do have um, a preference for al dente artichokes, um, but I like them kind of just in between where, where they're really buttery tender and these just turned out absolutely perfect. I love the little mustard, the whole grain mustard in the butter sauce. Normally I'd put Dijon, but the whole grain adds a nice little garnish touch as well as a little more texture and uh, kind of an interesting or uh, different take on it. The berry ghoul, very cool. I love uh, cooking artichokes like this. It's a beautiful way, very pure way of cooking artichokes. And um, they're slightly more al dente, a little bit more, um, have a little more bite than these. Mm. And they're not pickled, but a little more briny and a lot more acidic than uh, these would be just because they've been cooking in the wine, some of the vinegar, and of course uh, the sliced lemons. Really beautiful. I love how tender they are. As you can see, the, all the leaves are edible, um, especially when they're that small. Mm. These, as you saw in the video, are just, you know, fall right off of the stem. And I like this type of presentation because you don't have to worry about passing the butter everywhere. You can just load up a couple plates, pass them around the table, and everybody has everything in front of them. They have to look for that butter tray. Mm. Wow, super good again. Good amount of, um, with this one especially, it has more of a bright acidic touch to it than this. This is more savory. Obviously with the vinegar element, um, it's a little different than this. Uh, this is really bright and um, citrusy. Mm. The mustard goes a long way in this. Adds just a little bit different, um, like a different kick to it. Not spicy at all, because there's just not enough of that Dijon or that whole grain mustard in it to really pull through the spice. Um, but you do get that flavor, that mustard flavor, and a little bit of the um, acidic or the acidity in the mustard, which helps kind of just brighten up the artichokes. And they really take quite well, as if any one of you guys have had artichokes. Super buttery, very rich, almost like a, like a root vegetable avocado, if you will, um, but very buttery, and I love the flavor. Mm. Well, one of the things I could definitely tell you guys, uh, the difference between store-bought and uh, homegrown is that the leaves are just so much more tender and you get a lot more stock that is edible. Like this, normally at the grocery store, you'd be really lucky if that was um, not woody or tough. It's almost just like the heart, as close as it gets without having to go through the hassle of scooping stuff out and dealing with the, uh, the choke part of the artichoke, these little hairs. Another thing with growing your own artichokes is they don't have as many hairs. Mm. They're just a lot easier to deal with uh, than store-bought. Obviously, you have to go through the whole growing cycle, which is definitely a pain in the butt. Uh, it requires a lot of patience. But once you get there, they produce, like I said in the video, for several years, and they give you quite a bit of um, artichokes every year. I think 30 to 40, sometimes even 50, depending on how well you take care of them. And you really don't have to worry about them too much, and they provide such a unique harvest, um, a different vegetable than um, a lot of folks are you know, harvesting in their backyard. And they're just a great crop to grow in California or um, slightly Mediterranean environments where it's you have dry summers that are hot and slightly cool um, winters and falls. So 
great vegetable to grow out here where I live, and so I'm taking advantage of that. I'm gonna be growing a lot more, a couple different varieties, so hopefully you guys learned something from this video. If you guys enjoy what I do here, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, uh, give it a big old like if you enjoyed it. Comment down below for future video requests, things you wanna see on my channel, and uh, I'll see you guys next time with another recipe. Later, folks.